Hi Leo, I'm Leticia. Thanks for joining me. I am here with your weekly horoscope for August the 12th through August the 18th. And I want to give a shout out to Miss Kelly. She is the winner of um, the weekly giveaway. She has won uh, a birth chart reading, and um, which is awesome. So stay tuned. I will be giving away um, more items, some more services in weeks to come. So just uh, keep your eyes and your ears open for that. So on Sunday of this week, we open up with a beautiful grand trine in Earth. Okay, and so for you, this is affecting you in your second house of income, which is where we have Virgo. We have the moon coming in there today. And then we have in your sixth house of daily work and activities, we have Saturn there. And then we have Uranus in your tenth house of career or your reputation in the world. All right. So uh, with these, uh, with this beautiful energy coming in here together in these Earth signs, this is um, opening up for you a peace of mind with your income. All right. It's bringing in. Uranus is bringing in a change that you need in your career sector, in your reputation to the world. So there is a sudden change that is happening. You know, of course, Uranus is retrograde right now, going backwards, going back over the areas that he has already come up through and going back to finish up the work, you know, solidify the changes that have happened. And then, so Saturn is bringing a groundedness to the change that is happening so your daily work is changing your the way that you represent yourself in the world the way that people see you in the world is changing and then your income is changing but you feel good about it you feel good about yourself your your self-esteem is being built up because of the changes that are, are happening in your area of career and your reputation in the world. You are feeling more empowered. You are feeling more stable. And this is a wonderful thing for you. Okay. Then also we have a beautiful trine happening between Neptune and Jupiter on the same day. So we have Neptune in your 8th house of other people's resources. And then we have Jupiter in your fourth house of home. So this Jupiter is expanding what is home for you. It's bringing blessings there. So this is either your home within yourself or your physical home, your physical dwelling. Or it is your family, um, your family of origin, people who live with you. There are changes, growth happening. There is um, inspiration happening. There is a, a deeper understanding of who family is. There is a, um, an understanding on the spiritual level of who family is and where home is. This is what is coming in with this particular energy. Okay, And then we have a little leftover energy from last week and that is Mercury making a square to Jupiter. So Mercury is in your first house. Jupiter is in your house of home. So there could be a little gossip going on, you know, some negative words being said either about you or a family member or from a, a family member about you. There could just be, you know, some little nastiness happening, some little messiness happening. But, you know, it'll clear up. Don't make too much of it. All right. No unnecessary drama. Okay, and then Leo, we have um, on Monday, we have Mars, which has been in Aquarius in your opposite sign um, since he went retrograde on July the, um, on June the 26th. So he went retrograde then, I'm sorry, July the 26th he went retrograde. And so he will continue to be retrograde. But now he's moved back into the sign of Capricorn. Well, he'll continue to move back until the 26th of August. Okay. And then um, for you, this is happening in your sixth house. So here's the question, you know the Mars retrograde in this 
area for you is asking how is um, am I comfortable doing what I'm doing do I need to be doing something else am I good with the people around me okay so but Mars is still really close to the earth so the people around me that are that I'm around day to day in my daily activities are they stirring up unnecessary anger within me okay so this is a question that could be coming in while he continues this retrograde back to nine degrees of Capricorn before he pushes forward and even still he'll be in Capricorn for a while so also questions could come up about health this may cause you know a surgery you know a minor surgery that you may need to have during this time with Mars in the sixth house because sixth house you know it rules the the health as well as the daily activity also it rules six house rules open enemies you may find enemies that you didn't know you had come to the forefront with Mars you know coming up to you with the angriness of Mars the hostility that could happen okay but don't don't let it move you you know go within ask the questions what what am I supposed to learn you know, if that does happen, if the person does approach you with the hostility, you know, somebody in your co-workers, daily activities, go with them and say, what am I supposed to learn, as opposed to lashing out and causing more drama, more turmoil, you know? All right, just something to consider that may happen. Okay, and then on, let's see, on Tuesday... We have Saturn making an exact trine, which is a really beautiful aspect to Uranus. So the changes that are coming to your uh, area of career and your reputation in the world, we know this is going through a, tr a change, but Saturn, in all month long, is making a beautiful trine to stabilize the changes, you know, to, to let you know, and we talked about that earlier, to let you know that the changes that are being made are good for you so we have a, a lot going on right now it's a good time a, a good time of sudden changes uh, much needed changes you know to take you to your greatest self your greatest potential you know is being unleashed it's being birthed right now it's very beautiful okay so then from there we have Libra in Libra we have Venus there and we have the moon there and this is happening in your third house of communication so this could be a beautiful time between you and your siblings you know you could be getting along and talking uh, you and your siblings and your mother could be having a great time you could be uh, feeling empowered to just travel take a short distance travel together you know get in the car and go for a ride and just uh, enjoy the country you know go to the lake go to the ocean have a good time you know with with mom and your siblings or it could be having a good time with your girlfriends your closest friend girls come together laugh talk just chit chat to have some drinks go to you know to have a spa day you know beautiful time like that could be happening with your closest friends neighbors siblings cousins you know all right so that's really something to look forward to then on thursday october the 16th we have the moon coming into the sign of scorpio and there is an opposition with uranus that is happening so uranus again is in your 10th house of career the moon is coming into scorpio which is in your fourth house of home so here we have this push and pull all the changes that are coming right we talked about that then the moon so there's something something happening with with mom or with family members or that is causing you not to have peace of mind that is causing you not to feel safe there are some changes that are being stirred up maybe about where you are living something's going on and you're feeling uncomfortable about what is happening and then the changes that are going on in your career or your public reputation 
there's a balance that needs to happen with this you know with the sudden changes and then and then your mom or your um, uh, just feeling safe where you are something might be happening with the family members and they need to be attended to but yet you might want to just be totally focused on your career so you have to balance the two or bring harmony uh, between the two you know so that you can do both take care of what needs to be taken care of still maintain you know your your work and your career at the same time but then attending to home attending to mom attending to grandma attending to family members attending to even yourself within you know spending time to nurture your spirit or uh, taking time to clean the house organize things you know there all of it has to be maintained so this opposition is coming in here and in asking you to take a look at that you know because both sides neither one can be neglected but there has to be harmony between the attention uh, that they receive and then coming in on Friday we have that same moon in Scorpio coming in to meet up with Jupiter in a conjunction which is really great because Jupiter expands and then it's making a beautiful trine aspect to Neptune and Pisces so with this with the moon and, and Jupiter coming together there is an expansion of peace there is an expansion of comfort comfortability um, Neptune is in Pisces and this is again in your eighth house of resources so coming in with Scorpio so here are resources there is inspiration coming in there is a peace of mind so maybe the issue that was happening the day before a little bit earlier there was some confusion there but then there is an answer that comes inspiredly about what you can do with home some resources come in divinely come in that help you to balance what you needed to balance in the career area that you were concerned about with this change that happened so this is how this could play out i thank you so much for watching leo i'm leticia and have a beautiful week and i send you love and light